Alex? I'm Mark. Boyfriend. Fiance. Sorry. How long were you? Four years. Uh, I proposed to her in May. Hey, thank you for coming. I wasn't sure that you were going to show up, given the... Uh... Couldn't miss out on my mom's funeral. Hey, Al... I was in therapy talking about my mom when I heard she died. I thought about when our problems began. Get out, go get the tape. I can't fucking believe you. You, you you've broken it. It's always the same thing with you. The last time we saw each other. I never want to see you again. I know most of you will want to feel bad for me, but don't. Because in the six years I've lived without that bitch, I've been fine. Alex. How have you been? I'm great. <laughs> I've, uh, I've been fantastic, you know, actually, I'm head of marketing at this startup. We sell magic eight ball phone cases. It's pretty lucrative business. I uh, mean about your mom. Yeah, uh, fine. Will you be speaking? Mm hmm. <laughs> Look, I know things between you two weren't ideal. Well, I'm worried. Please. Bite your tongue. You know, I don't think you get to tell me how to react to her death. And I don't want to sit there listening to you talk about your mom as, as you knew her. Look, she found someone, got a job, went back to school, she, she turned her entire life around and, and... Well, I'm really sorry for your loss. With his new girlfriend, she was like, first of all, she was super ugly. But second of all, I was wondering why she was even in the city. Like, for real. He's a kid and he's not showing up. Anyway, Lauren, Shit. we gotta go for the good ones. I can't gone. find that babysitter's number. God damn it. I can't go. Come on, this is your 20s. You gonna spend at home every night? Well, I've got the kid. What else am I supposed to do? He's asleep. He won't even notice you're gone. I don't know. Remember when we were 16 and you got pregnant and you promised we were still we living our best lives no we matter what? Where is that girl? Where is she? Elle, I don't know. Oh, please! I fucked up so much. So, Sean left you with a kid. Fuck that guy. But life is out there at that club right now. You gonna get him? Or you wait till someone else does? Okay. Okay, let me go check on Alex first.
Thank you, Eleanor, for that beautiful tribute. Now, our next speaker was a little hesitant about sharing, but we're glad he's finally ready to open up. Our son, Matthew. son, Alex, is going to say a few words. This is the last time you ever pulled that shit. What do you have to say? Shut up. Shut up! Try that tone again. You don't get to touch me anymore. Keep talking. Keep talking. I had to leave work early to talk to the CPS people again. You had to leave work? And now I have to make it up I have tomorrow. to run away from home. Never... Do you fucking understand you had that? To? Yes. I give you food. I give you clothes. A roof above your head. None of it means anything. What more do I owe you? It doesn't you? mean anything when you treat me like shit every day. I gave up everything my entire life for you. You turn 18 in four months, and you're still just a... When are you going to grow up? When are you going to be a good fucking mom? Sorry. You are the biggest disappointment of my entire life. You're childish. You're selfish. You know, my son. And now, her other son, Alex, is going to say a few words. Alex. What the fuck was that, Mark? Huh? I'm sorry, I tried no. telling you earlier. No, stop! She doesn't deserve this. I didn't need her to be perfect. I just needed her to be enough. And I wasn't. I guess I wasn't for her. She tried calling you. It's fine. It's fine. I'm okay. I got through life's big things by myself. Without her loving me. Or supporting me or doing the shit that moms are supposed to do. And now she's dead. It's a huge convenience for me. Because now when I get married, I have kids, I don't have to feel guilty about not inviting her in my life. I already wasted 24 years on her. Nothing good came out of that, so I'm done. I'm done, that's it. You changed her. You're the reason that she's the woman that they're talking about in there. Do that to me. And you're the reason that Don't Matthew that. can say that he had a loving mother. Don't and I do know, that to I know me. It's Don't stop. You were the one relationship that she thought that she could never lose. Just please stop. Whatever you need to do to cope, you go and do it. It's gonna be okay. I haven't finished 
doing about them yet. It's fine. Go to bed, it's late. It's gonna be okay. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born a time to die, a time to kill, and a time to heal. There's a time to tear down, and a time to build. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. There's a time to scatter stones, and a time